What is going on, everybody? We are here in Dallas at the World Food Championships, but we are not alone. No, we are not. No one, I wasn't talking about him. Everyone over here, we got Gretel Crew! So we had a chance to uh, come out and everybody came, is meeting up and hopefully we're gonna have some good food as, as long as I'm cooking. Well, I'm cooking later, so we No one cares if food. CJ's cooking. Today I'm gonna show you guys a really fun recipe. I'm gonna show you a really quick, it's kind of like a party passable food. It is a beef skewer, but we're gonna do a really great Thai peanut sauce. Let me show you how to do it. So I do only have one cutting board today, so I'm gonna get all of my garnish first. I've got a couple of limes, and I have cashews. Uh, are you guys a fan of cashews? You guys like cashews? Yes. Huge yeah. fan of cashews. But I do want to use this to sprinkle for later, so I'm gonna chop these up really, really tiny, just tiny enough to really sprinkle over your finished dish. Then we're gonna do some fresh cilantro as well. Same thing, nice and tiny. We want it to, to go over the top and look all as chefy as quite CJ chef would, quite chefy. I also have some red chilies. Uh, this is for color and for heat, so slice those nice and then also for garnish. Now that all of our garnish is done, let's get to our beef. The beef is really, really simple. Today I have flank steak. No, I don't have flank steak. I wanted flank steak. I didn't want to oh, good lord. Are these, C these CJ's gloves. I'm doing skirt steak. I wanted to do some flank steak, but skirt is, the flank, if I was gonna do a flank, I'd want a huge hunk of flank and then sear it, and then we pound it out later. They didn't have them. They just had tiny little cut pieces of, um, Oh, please. A little small. Oh, I it no walk of shame. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of oil. Check this out. This is skirt steak, outside skirt steak. I'm gonna go with just a bit of vegetable oil. Oh, check this out. You see, this is chupacabra. I'm a big fan of this. Have you tried this? Oh, dude, it's pretty good. Check them out. I'm gonna go with their steak seasoning. We're gonna be pretty generous because we're gonna cut these into little bits for our, maybe touch more oil. Oh, yeah. More hands. More hands, CJ. Now the reason I like this cut, it's, it's a fairly affordable cut, uh, but if you treat it right, it will treat you right, as they say. Do they that's say that? That's a good motto. You say that? Buy. I say that. I say that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these. Now you guys, uh, you guys know about grain, right? Cutting against the grain. We're gonna do that while it's still raw. The wrong hand, wrong, I put the glove on the wrong hand. Just, oh. Okay. Cut. See what's happening? Worst gloves ever. I blame this entirely on CJ. Now you can see the grains, right? Before we cut them, you can tell where the grain is. If you pull it apart, you can really see where those are. Now if you cut with the grain this way, that's where we get that, that toughness. But let's cut it into more manageable pieces. And what you can do is find those grains, which are going this way, and we're gonna cut our bit for a skewer against the grain. So we're cutting it this way, nice, long, and thin, so we can skewer them. But what we get is the grain is already cut, right? So when we pull it after it's cooked, even when it's raw, this is uh, this is skirt steak. Even when it's raw, you can see it really pulling apart. So that's what we want to do. It's almost like bacon at that point. See that? Bacon, 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 bacon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these into nice long strips. Uh, you can season them again if you want to. We're gonna take these and kind of push them up on the skewer where we want kind of like nooks and crannies, tall parts and low parts. Uh, so let's do them all. Let's do this entire bit of flank. You wanna do all? I keep saying flank. Skirt steak. Let's do all of the skirt steak. Now, if you are throwing a big party, there's obviously gonna be lots of people around to cook for. Also means there's lots of people to help. You guys know Jess Farron. Jess, you wanna come help me? Sure. All right. Invite the only vegetarian to come help me make meat skewers. Let's do it. Maybe these gloves will fit your hands better. They do. That's good. They're actually big. You know, I was actually uh, just off camera. If you can tell, Ethan, get in really close. Even before we cooked these, check this out. Let me grab another one. Even before we cooked these, because of the way we slice it, here the skewers are right there. Yeah. Because of the way we've sliced it, you can really see how tender these are going to be. You know, typically with a, like a very tough piece of meat, uh, you've got to marinate it for a really long time or figure out how to tenderize it. Just by adjusting the way we cut the meat uh, is going to change the mouthfeel later, which is really important, especially with a skewer. Isn't that the worst? Like when you have a skewer and the whole thing comes off? Yeah, or when you flip it. Oh, and it falls apart. And, and the meat just yeah. turns. Yeah, the that's no turns. point. No yeah, good, no good. Not at all. So we're gonna rail through all of these so we can feed all of our friends. Maybe a few, make a few friends. You can always make a few friends if with you make a few. delicious food. Yeah, true. 
All right, that is awesome. Thank you so much for your help. We can Thank deglove. You. Thank you so much. I might get another uh, volunteer for this next part. Now, I have my Blackstone up to high heat. You definitely want this screaming hot. Now, when you have a very thin cut of meat, you want that Maillard reaction. You want that crust, but it's very thin, so it's going to cook really, really fast. So get your griddle high heat, screaming, smoking, add a bit of oil in all of those skewers. We want that sizzle. We want that crust, but we don't want them to get too overcooked. I mean, these are going to be medium rare because they're so thin but we do want the crust to be really beautiful. Now let's move on to our sauce. Right, when I say simple, I mean crazy, crazy simple. Now I have a big bowl. Actually, I'm gonna get my good friend, Mr. Butch Bennett, if you don't know him. Crazy Pop on YouTube. The man. The man. The legend. The legend. Uh, I'll need you to help me out. Have you ever made a peanut sauce before? I'm not. Here we go. No. Everyone's learning here. Uh, We're gonna go with the Skippy. Grab that peanut butter. I can grab peanut butter. We're I can gonna do scoop that. out like maybe a half a cup or so. You can use that red spatula right there. Now, peanut sauce is very, very simple. Uh, you need smooth, creamy peanut butter. Oh yeah, get it in there. Now, is uh, it is Jif or Skippy? Does it matter? Uh, it doesn't really matter. But it does need to be smooth. It just needs to be the creamy kind. Don't need more. Uh, let's go a little more. Yeah, let's go a little uh, bit more. We can do more. So the peanut butter is the base of our sauce, but we have a bunch of other stuff we're adding to it. That was a bit of rice vinegar. I used the toasted sesame oh, rice vinegar. Is it, is it coming off? Use that Not spatula, really. you can scrape it off the... Uh, or, I'm sorry, use the whisk to scrape it off the spatula. There we go. I have a little bit of sesame oil. Now how you get off the whisk? There, well, we're going to whisk it. Oh, okay. A little bit of sesame oil. I'm also going to add some soy sauce. Now this is going to help thin the peanut butter out, which is why it's important oh, for it to be creamy peanut butter. Oh, this is going to take a hot minute. We'll be here for a while. Pop That's all. I got all good. I'm not popping the top. There we go. There we go. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. All right, go ahead and start working that in together. Now the soy sauce and the sesame oil and the vinegar, they're going to start liqui uh, liquefying, uh, thinning yeah. out. I also want to add for a bit of body and that creaminess, a bit of coconut milk as well. Okay. You like my can opener move? I like that. Yeah, it's it's not, it's, it's skills, guys. You know, we're, we're at the World Food Championships. We don't have tools. <laughs> it's coming. Come on, work. There work. We go. Okay. Awesome. There we go. I appreciate that. Work with what you got. I appreciate that. No, I appreciate that. Thing. Now, the coconut milk is going to add a ton of flavor and it's going to change the color and give us a really beautiful, beautiful texture. Now, the last little bit that I want is a bit of red curry paste. I'm going to squeeze in Come on here. In. Oh, no. Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to get to it. Here, we're going. Flip the spatula around. Another tool. Here we go. Red curry paste is gonna bring us a ton of flavor as well. Kind of go through the roof. That's looking good. We want that to be fully incorporated. Oh, awesome. Fully incorporated, Butch. Awesome. Now, if you want to, if you want to go a little thinner, but your flavors are where they, where you want them to be, which they are, you can add a bit of water just to get to the consistency that you want. I'm gonna switch with you, Bush. Why don't you go over to the there? Oh, look, see how it's starting to get oh, yeah. sauce-like. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna switch with you. Can you go flip all of those skewers, CJ? You can go with Bush. I can do that. Go flip those there skewers for me, and we are right about finished. Our garnish is done. Our beef is just about done. Check this out, E. Look how creamy it's getting. Right. We're like in sauce mode now. Uh, I do want to add some of that lime juice. Now the acidity from the lime juice and the acidity from the vinegar are going to directly compete with all of the savory that we have going on with the beef and in the peanuts. So uh, we talk about it all the time on the show. What do we look for? We look for balanced, well-balanced dish. That's what we've got here. All right, so I don't have any tools, but what I do have is the old, the old taster. That's what I'm talking about. Dang, that's really, really good. All right, now it's time to plate. I'm gonna throw these skewers down into some boats. We are at an event, so we're gonna serve as many people as possible. Drizzle a bit of that sauce over the top. Garnish it with some of the herbs, uh, cilantro, and a bit of our nuts and some of those beautiful little peppers. And I mean, this is one of those things you can make for a ton of people. If you do your prep ahead of time, it makes your life way easier. The serving it is so much fun. Let's see what everyone thinks about it. This is one of those things. Like, <laughs> don't make it difficult. What are you doing? You know, yeah, cooking for a lot of people. Home, it's not yeah. hard. It should not be intimidating. It should be one of those oh, things. Just so fun and simple. What do you guys? What do you guys think? That's oh, Josh Hunt. You see that? Right there. The man, the myth right here. We go, Josh Hunt. I want to hear what Josh thinks. It's amazing. You've had better, right? Mm, no. Very <laughs> good. It's really good. Very good. Oh, you know, earlier in the video, we talked about how tender it gets. Look, this is like it just pulls apart, right? I'll, I'll let Mike so you don't have like a big massive hunk? Yeah. 
of me just kind of pulling off the screw, which is really, really nice. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Be sure to find this recipe in a ton more. Uh, Does anybody know my yeah. ending? Okay. No one watches. You guys know what I say, right? Yeah, we know what you say. repeat. You like to become a better cook, one recipe at a time. Uh -huh. I'm your host, Chef Nathan Libby. I'll see you guys in the next video. Delicious. All right. Awesome. Awesome. This is amazing. It's really good. That peanut sauce is awesome. Wow. Mmm. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. It wasn't me. It wasn't I didn't know you didn't get that. <laughs>